All right, so you're thinking about moving to Fort Worth, Texas, or more specifically, you're interested in Arlington. Well, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to stick around for this video because today, that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about Arlington, Texas, and I'm actually going to show inside of my computer, we're gonna hop on the map. I'm gonna show you everything that you're gonna to need to know about Arlington, Texas to make an educated decision on whether or not Arlington is the right place for you to live. I'm gonna show you all the hot spots, the good food spots, all the entertainment and attractions and schools, and kind of just break down the location of where everything is. So if you're interested in Arlington, Texas, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to stick around to the very, very end of this video because it's gonna be a good one and we're gonna get after it right now. So if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Fort Worth, Texas, well, make sure you click that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Fort Worth, Texas. My name's Travis Plum. My business partner, Levi, and I, we get so many calls text and emails every single day from people just like you and you and you and you and you and you and you looking to make a smooth move here to Fort Worth and we absolutely love it y'all. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. We are happy to help you make a smooth move down here to Fort Worth, Texas. Um, and like I said in the beginning, in this video, we are going to be talking about Arlington, Texas. It's a great city. There is so much fun stuff to do from Six Flags to AT&T Stadium, Hurricane Harbor, and so much more. All the great restaurants and good eating and parks and lake life. There's so much to Arlington, Texas. But you know, I wanted to show you on the map exactly where Arlington is in, in location to where everything is surrounding it. Where is Fort Worth? Where is the airport? Where is Dallas? Where are all the hot spots and what is there to do? That's exactly what I'm going to cover in this video. We're going to hop on the map. So let's go ahead and dive into my computer and I'll see you there. All right, y'all. So here we are in Arlington, Texas. I am super excited to share with you Arlington, Texas. Um, it's definitely one of the most fun cities, I think, with some of the most things to do uh, in all of Dallas, Fort Worth and Arlington, Texas. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to pop this open right here and I'm going to show you. So this is Arlington. So you can actually see kind of where it lines out. So Arlington is uh, it's a huge, huge, huge city. And I know it may not look like it here on the map, but Arlington is definitely one of the biggest cities in Dallas, Fort Worth. And it's probably one of the biggest cities in, in all of Texas. There's almost 400,000 people in Arlington, Texas, and that number is continuing to rise. So, you know, it's um, it's a very, very big city lots and lots of diversity. It's one of the most diverse uh, cities uh, in the country. So it's a very good place to live. Um, to, no matter what your budget is, they have homes in Arlington that are from the 200,000s. And then they have homes all the way up to $2.6 million sitting right there on the lake, on Lake Arlington. And at the very end of this, if you stick around, I'm actually going to share with you a market report on exactly what's going on in the real estate market uh, here in Arlington, Texas. There are tons of homes for sale. It looks like more homes are coming onto the market, which is great for all of you buyers who are looking to relocate here to Texas because the more, the more inventory that's on, uh, obviously the less competition Competition because some of these other cities uh, up north like Frisco and Prosper and McKinney where people are paying a hundred thousand dollars over list price that is not what's going on in Arlington it's a little bit less competitive and they still have some beautiful beautiful homes to move into but um, right here I'm gonna uh, I wanted to just show you that this is where Arlington is okay and I'm going to also let me get rid of this so Arlington is obviously like I said it's a very big city and it's smack dad right here in the middle so if you're looking at at making a drive into Fort Worth, Texas, the, the drive time is about 15 miles. So it really depends on obviously where you live in Arlington. Everything that I'm gonna be talking about is basically off of the center of Arlington. So from Arlington to Fort Worth, it's about 15 miles. If you want to drive into the airport, this is maybe 10 to 15 miles as well. Um, and then this is DFW airport right here. And then of course you can take 360 if you don't wanna go on Lake Arlington and you prefer a bigger lake that you can do surf and all that other good stuff you can just head straight up here 
and then you can go up here and you can hit Grapevine Lake or you can take 114 and Grapevine Lake is also a lot of fun. I've had plenty of good times out there. So it's definitely one of those places that you'll want to check out. And if you're living in Arlington and you're looking to make your drive into Dallas, Texas, that's going to be just slightly longer. Dallas, Texas is about 20 miles. Now, depending on traffic, um, you know, uh, depending on what time of day, like if you're coming from Arlington to Dallas early in the morning, there's going to be a little bit of traffic. It could take you 30 to 45 minutes to get into Dallas. Same thing with shooting over here into Fort Worth. It could take you 30 to 45 minutes, depending on traffic. If you're going in rush hour, yes, there is traffic. But if you're living in New York or if you're coming from LA and some of these big, big, big cities where traffic is absolutely horrendous, this is nothing like those cities. I mean, you are usually, and I say this very carefully, usually you are not sitting in traffic for an hour, two, three hours, like I know some of my clients tell me about when they're living in LA or New York. There is traffic, but the highways here are sometimes, you know, four, five, six lanes wide. So they actually move pretty quick and they have HOV lanes and all that good stuff. So traffic, uh, you know, it, it is a little bit if you're coming in rush hour, but for the most part, everything moves really, really smoothly through here. So Arlington is a great middle spot that is you know really within 20 miles of absolutely everything in in the Dallas Fort Worth area and you're right by the airport okay now there's a lot of fun stuff to do in Arlington and I'm gonna just kind of highlight some of my favorites okay and let's just kind of start, you know, with the um, with River Legacy Park, right? So R R River Legacy Park is obviously um, uh, uh, up on the northern end of Arlington, but this is a very, very beautiful community in a very beautiful park that's relatively new, and it's and it's right next to Lake Viridian. And Viridian in itself is a community, probably the most popular community in Arlington, Texas. And we actually did a vlog tour on Viridian specifically. So make sure that you check out that video on Viridian if you think that you wanna live in North Arlington because it's absolutely beautiful. Now, the, the market there is relatively slim. It's very hard uh, to get a property over there. But if you do see one that comes onto the market, we'd wanna make a jump on that relatively quickly because those homes, they do sell uh, very, very quickly. And uh, so, I'm going to show you my favorite spot. Okay, um, this is this is the heart of Arlington, is what I think. You have everything right here. So, right here is again Hurricane Harbor. Right, you've probably heard me mention this in other videos. This is a massive water park they have. It's it's so much fun that if you're living in Arlington, it's right there in your backyard. You got to get a season pass. Like me and my family, my girls, we actually have a season pass where we pay like six bucks a month. Um, to be able to go to Six Flags and Hurricane Harbor. And you can do that year round. Obviously, Hurricane Harbor is closed right during the winter time. But Six Flags, you can go year round and you can actually just pay a monthly uh, six dollar fee to be able to get into these uh, into these parks. So make sure you check that out. OK, right across the street is Six Flags. OK, and Six Flags obviously is a huge huge uh, amusement park they have the titan which is absolutely it's, it's a huge roller coaster they have um a place inside of the park just for kids in, in the looney tunes land so if you got little kiddos and you want to take them to have a really really good day then you're going to want to check out six flags because they have rides specifically just for the little kids it's really a great spot and then everything surrounding this it, there's mariano's which is a Mexican cuisine. This is one of my favorite Mexican spots. Um, you may or may not have heard of it before, but it's got some really, really good food. Right across from there um, is the International Bowling Museum and Hall of Fame. You gotta check this out. This place is super, super, super cool. You can come in here, you can check out the museum, you can bowl. It's it's a really great experience. So if you are, you know, if you like going to museums and seeing the history of Arlington and all that other good stuff that's involved in a little bit of bowling action on top of that, well, make sure that you check out the International Bowling Museum and Hall of Fame exhibits of bowling 5,000 years year history 5,000 year history so it is super super cool and then you have um, right in here you have globe life field and AT&T Stadium if um, if you've never been to either of these they used to have, they used to have um, this is globe life field this is the brand new 
Park for the Texas Rangers. They used to have Globe Life Park. This is the older stadium. Um, so it's right across the street from all this new development. And I mean, it's so new. I don't even see. Yeah, they have everything in here. So um, look, you can go to Texas Live. This is a place that you have to check out. Okay, Texas Live is a huge open area. They have multiple restaurants inside. They have bars inside. They have a country Western dance hall on the second floor. So if you like the country dance, you can go in there. And then if you're in the main area of Texas Live, and you can kind of see a picture of it like right here, but they have this, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. They have this huge bar area and they have a massive, massive, massive TV. I'm talking, it's got to be like hundreds of feet wide. It's, it's huge. So it's a really good experience. They have shopping in here. They have all the different restaurants that are around here. So like, this is really the heart of Arlington because there's just so much fun stuff to do right here. You got, like I said, then you got Globe Life Field. This place is beautiful. Um, Samantha, my girlfriend, her brother just graduated from high school and he actually was able to have his graduation inside of globe life field park and i mean what an incredible experience i mean they have tours of globe life they also have tours of at&t stadium right um, i've actually done this with my parents once before you get to go into the locker rooms you get to walk around you get vip access to things that you would normally not you know be able to get access to during a normal uh, football game but if you if you like that kind of stuff you definitely want to get get tickets to that and check out at&t stadium this place is huge if you've never seen any pictures of it um, i guess you can't really see any pictures of it quite so well from here but this place it's massive. I went to a George Strait concert a few years back and they had over 105,000 people show up for this concert, right? So this is, um, this the stadium, if it can fit 105,000 people, that should tell you just how big it is. And then you have live, you know, I mean, there's just so much stuff to do. All the food is surrounding here. And I'm going to zoom back out just a little bit so you can see kind of in relationship to, you know, where Arlington is as, as a whole. And again, you can see this thin red line. It's right here in North and North Arlington. And that's where really everything is going to be for you. Um, and then you have uh, legal draft beer. This is a place, one of my favorite places in Arlington uh, in Texas. They, they have a lot of local beer places. So, you know, we like to s support all of our small businesses. So go check out, you know, the legal draft beer, um, get you a couple brews over there. Enjoy it. You have the Arlington Museum of Art. Um, this place is absolutely beautiful. Um, if you like art, you need to go check out the, uh, the museum here. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. They have the tr Twisted Root Burger Company. This place, uh, obviously, they, got, they have good beers, but they also have some really, really, really good burgers. Now, I could sit here all day long and talk to you about all the great food. And I mean, you can see everything they have. You know, they have Ojos Loco Sports Bar. They have the Hooters over here, Buffalo Wild Wings, Papacitos, Cantina. Papacitos is also one of my favorite uh, Mexican joints. Um, they have all sorts of good food. So you got the Arlington Museum of Art, you got Legal Draft Beer, and then you have the Symphony Arlington. This place is, is beautiful. It's classic. It's definitely one of those places. If you, if you, if you like the symphony, go check it out. Okay. It's, it's, it's really, really great. And everything is right here off of 30. So Arlington comes all the way through here. And as you can see running up along, uh, if this internet will work. Um, you can see there's tons of restaurants. You got the biscuit bar, waffle house, water burger. Uh, they have everything within driving range. That's right here in Arlington and North Arlington. This is, like the ideal place that you're going to want to you know spend your time and then of course i mean arlington is huge so if you come down to east arlington you have um you have the crab station okay all right. i had to i had to put this one on here this isn't like on a top things to do this is kind of like a secret low-key spot um this is crab station this is my absolute absolute favorite place to go for seafood uh, I've been to many, many seafood places before, but they have, they actually have like three or four locations in the DFW area. But if you like seafood, you have to check out the crab station. It's, it's by far the best second to none. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> excuse me, on the, the top of Hill Terrace, this is actually a really, really cool spot. Okay. I, I, I've gone here once. It was a long, long time ago, but they called this place the Vegas before Vegas back in like the 1900s, the early, early 1900s. 
this place used to be filled with gangsters, gambling, all that stuff that they would used to do with, with liquor and all that good stuff. It actually, this is a, a really cool place that you gotta go check out. Um, they still have a lot of the same exact, you know, features that were back in the 1900s. They kept that place very, very well preserved. So if you like history and you wanna kind of step back in time a little bit, you gotta go check out the top O Hill um, Terrace. It's a, it's a really cool little spot. And then I'm going to zoom back out here just a little bit more. Now, again, um, if you come down here, this is like I said, this is like where the heart of most everything is. They have right here, this is the Crystal Canyon nature area. Um, this is obviously very, very good for hiking and biking and trails. And uh, it's, it's a pretty big park. Um, not, I mean, it's not huge, but it is a decent sized park with everything close by. Again, Lake Viridian right north of this, North Arlington. Uh, this is considered North Arlington. And then of course you have like your Whole Foods, you have Kroger, you have, you know, everything is just right here. So if you're looking for a great location in Arlington, you're gonna wanna stick up here in the, in the North Arlington where everything is. You have North Arlington, um, you have, you know, you have East Arlington right here. You have West Arlington, you have Southeast Arlington, and you have Southwest Arlington. So there's there's like six, basically six places within Arlington that they're kind of broken up into. Um, Southwest Arlington and Southeast Arlington, um, those are going to be on the lower price range of homes to buy. Those are typically where you're going to find your two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar homes down here. And then they, it just kind of gets a little bit nicer and nicer and nicer. Um, Southwest Arlington, Southeast Arlington, you need to be careful, you know, obviously where you're living, uh, if you get into certain spots in Arlington, because it, there are some really, really great, beautiful, like I said, $2.6 million areas, like over here on the lake. But then you also have some other areas um, that have a lot of, you know, ap apartments, um, not, not as much, you know, single family um, homes being owned over there. So you just, you, you want to be careful and make sure that you get into to a good area because it's, it's just like every big city within every big city you have areas that you may or may not want to live so definitely make sure that you reach out uh, and, and find the right location if you are interested in Arlington Texas um, because you know typically uh, coming down here south it, 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 it's okay okay now um, some of the schools there there are some good schools in Arlington it, it's it's rated just average uh, across the board in Arlington when it comes to school just slightly above average so if you're looking for, you know, top notch, you know, nine and 10 schools, Arlington probably isn't the place that you're going to want to live. Again, you can live anywhere in the DFW area and still have access to all the cool stuff that Arlington has to offer. But the schools are just, they're not exemplary schools unless you're going to some sort of a private school or if you're going to some type of a charter school, then you're going to want to, you know, make sure that you check out the school uh, system there because um, it is just slightly above average, but it is a great little place. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, I wanted to also share share with you a couple of the parks um, that we that we have and then of course you have Lake Arlington now Lake Arlington is it's it's a really really nice spot you have outdoor exercise areas over there you have wayfinding and, and interpretive signage playground for ages 2 to 12 um, they have a boardwalk connected to the boating dock so you have places to walk they have a fishing pier multiple places for you to fish um, they have the sensory garden and, uh, and decorative fountain. So there's a lot of stuff to do over here. Picnic areas, yoga, playgrounds. One of the really cool things um, on, on about Lake Arlington is you can actually take sailing lessons. So whether you're youth or adult family, you can go out here and you can take, you know, different types of sailing lessons. Um, you can do, you know, fishing, fishing um, which is available. It is catch and release only. But other than that, yeah, you can actually go in there into Lake Arlington and you have tons of stuff to do. It's a beautiful, beautiful lake. And depending on which side of the lake you're on, you have some beautiful sunsets and some very, very beautiful sunrises. Um, here is one of the top parks in all of Arlington. So I wanted to make sure that you knew that this was around because if you're here and you're visiting, make sure that you check out Bowman Springs Park it is right here on the lake. And of course, I mean, you have hiking and, and stuff all around the lake, but this is Bowman Springs. And then you also have Richard Richard Simpson Park. This place is a, a beautiful, there's there's obviously everything that you could do in a park. They have playgrounds and places for the kids and the picnics and all that good stuff. So make sure that if you're gonna be down here, 
that you check it out. Okay. So there's plenty of parks to do the veterans park. Obviously uh, I'm a veteran. I, I've, I've visited the veteran park before as well, a couple of times. Um, it's, you know, it's just one of those places that you just, you can just go to and feel extremely grateful for, for everything that the veterans have done. Um, you know, these people have laid their lives on the line. So it's a, it's a special, it's a special place um, that you should go, you should check out, pay your respects to the veterans, but it's very beautiful, very, very well kept and a, and a lot of respect goes out to the veterans, but it's, I, I really enjoy, you know, taking a stroll around here. Just north of that, you have Bicentennial Park, this park is uh, very, very nice as well. One of the top rated parks in Arlington. Um, it's right next to the Shady Valley Country Club. Uh, so if you like golfing, there's a lot of good golfing in Arlington. I mean, there's a whole bunch of good golfing in Arlington. You got Lake Arlington Golf Course. Um, you actually have the Shady Valley Country Golf Course. And then you have, you have also, hey baby, hi. So look, I got a little one here, come here. She just ran into my office. Yeah, say hi to everybody. What's up, y'all? Um, so yeah, this is Arlington, kind of in a nutshell, everything to do, lots and lots of fun stuff going on in Arlington. Uh, so I'm gonna actually show you kind of what's going on in the real estate market because um, this, the things are definitely changing around here um, with with homes coming on and off the, bye-bye, coming on and off the market. So um, let me get over and pop over to the next the next one. Sorry, I got to move this out of the way. So here is what we have going on in Arlington. Okay, now Arlington uh, homes for sale. There are 695 homes for sale, which is up 12 percent in the last 30 days. Right. So more and more properties are coming available onto the marketplace, which is a great sign. That means there's going to be a little bit less competition. Still, the market's really, really hot with over 500 people moving here to the Dallas Fort Worth area every single day. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a hot market, but there's a little bit less competition to, to look forward to in that. Uh, new to the market in the last 30 days, there's been 372 homes come on, which is 1% up. Um, and days on market is an average of 47. Now, to, I want to be very clear about average days on market. Most of these homes are selling, you know, within three, four, five, six, seven days. When they look at average homes, they're also taking into account some of these very expensive properties that can sit on the market for six months, seven, eight, nine months, you know, the ones that are millions and millions of dollars. So that comes into play. So homes are still selling very quickly. They have very short, you know, days on market. Um, the average home price in Arlington is $320,000, which is up point, you know, 0.1%, not much. There's been 52 price reductions. So that's kind of a good sign. And the average price per square foot is 154. Average sold price is uh, down 5.2% 5, 5 to 293,000. 304 homes sold in the last 30 days. And these are some of the homes that you can actually see that are listed, which, which you have the most expensive home. This home is beautiful obviously it's 2.6 million dollars and it's sitting here right on lake arlington and as you can tell i mean lake arlington is so beautiful looking like it looks like the sunset is setting over here so you have waterfront new construction and you got you got your dock that goes straight out where you can keep your boat you know this is just i mean it's a beautiful place i mean who, who wouldn't want to live here right so this is your dock your double decker dock you can have your boat here you can party up top um but I mean, it's, this is a beautiful, beautiful home. So this is the very top of the market. Um, this is this is right at two point six million dollars. This is uh, this is the highest it goes. You're sitting on one acre. You got um, it's built in 1975. So it's a little bit older home, which is probably why it's you know been sitting on the market for quite a little while. And then of course you can actually see that they have new construction popping up on the sides of this as well. <clears throat> Other homes that are available in the marketplace. This is typically what you're going to find in Arlington. Um, they they are having some new construction communities being built um, like the Viridian where you get a lot of homes that are uh, brand brand new construction but a lot of homes in Arlington are, are, are just your classic ranch style homes. They have tons of homes that are built in the, in, the, in the 1970s, 1980s, 1990s. That's where you're gonna find the majority of your homes are gonna be a little bit older, but this is a classic ranch style home and this one's listed at $300,000. So you can tell, you know, this is what you're gonna be getting in Arlington for that $300,000 range. And I mean, this is still a nice, nice country style home i mean it's not it's not bad it's got you know it looks like it's got a little backyard in the back i mean it's okay it's an enchanting three bedroom two bath you know by and there's lots of trees in arlington so 
that's what you can get for 300. Here's, let's take a look at 325. Let's see what 325 can get you for your money. So as you can see, just a little bit different, another ranch style home. This one's built in 1979. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's got 1,856 square feet. So it's actually a decent size. It looks like this one's been completely remodeled. Oh, not completely, but it looks like it's been remodeled just a little bit here. But yeah, I mean, th this is what you're getting in the marketplace. I mean, this is what you get here, <clears throat> um, popular listings. So now when you move up, and this is this is what you're gonna see a lot of right here. So in that 450 dollars to $600,000 range, you're gonna start getting into these homes that were built in the 1990s early 2000s. Um, this one was built in, uh, yeah, this one was built in 2000 right here. So this is a single family home, five bedroom, three bath, 3,800 square feet for $450,000. Uh, uh, but I mean, this is a, this is a very, very nice home. Oh, I love that. Look at all those guitars. So this is what you, this is, this is, this is you know, obviously um, make sure that you check out our other vlog because we have done a vlog tour on Arlington. So you can get a better feel because Arlington is, is really, really big, right? So you can get a better feel for what Arlington looks like and feels like on our uh, Arlington vlog. So make sure that you check that out. And again, don't forget to check out Viridian. It's one of the most popular communities that are up and coming in the Arlington area. So, but this is what it looks like for $450,000. And that is your current market update in Arlington. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, taking a look at Arlington, Texas. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, been, if you've been watching this, make sure that you click that subscribe button, tap that bell for notifications. That way you can always be the first to learn about the current market in Fort Worth. Uh, and now if you live in Arlington um, or you're living in the surrounding areas and you're checking out this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure that you leave us some comments below. We're always looking for good, positive feedback in the comments. If, if there's something that I left out um, or there's something that you want more details on, I'm happy to make that happen for you. So please show us some love, give us a thumbs up and comment down below. Now, whether you're, and if you're moving here to the Fort Worth Arlington area, please don't hesitate to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. We are happy to help you make a smooth move to Fort Worth. Now, thanks again for tuning in everybody. And I look forward to seeing you around town. Thank you.